Welcome friends, I'm new. In my last video, a commenter asked how to set up a source build of Unreal Engine 5. Today, I'll show you everything you need to build Epic's code. Before we can build from source, we need to get the code. Epic makes its source code available on GitHub, but it requires a few steps to get access. First, we need to create a GitHub account and an Epic Games Store account. Second, we need to go to the account page on unrealengine.com, go to apps and accounts, and connect our GitHub account to our Epic Games account. Assuming everything works properly, you should receive an email from GitHub inviting you to join the Epic Games organization. Once you do so, you'll have access to the engine source code. In case you run into any trouble, the full documentation of the process is linked in the description below. Once you have access, you need to download the source code to your computer by cloning the repository. If you've never used Git before, the easiest way to do this is with the GitHub desktop application. Download it from github.com, log in, and then navigate to Epic Games forward slash Unreal Engine. Then we can just click clone repository, select a location on our PC and download it to our computer. This will take a little bit. I forget exactly how large it is, but it's on the order of tens of gigabytes. Now we've got source code. Run setup.bat from the folder where you installed the engine. This will install prerequisites and get your computer ready to build. This will take a few minutes, so I'll speed up the video. Next, run generate project files.bat to create project files for your installed IDE. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio 2022. If you haven't already got that set up, check out my video linked in the pinned comment. This should take just a couple of minutes, and then we will have a project file that we can open up and use to build. UE5.SLN in my case. Once we've got the project open in Visual Studio, we're almost ready to build. Double check that your configuration is set to Development Editor, your configuration is set to Windows 64, and your startup project is set to UE5. Once all of those are correct, you can press F5 to build, and this will take a while. The first build on my machine, I think, is about an hour. But after that, we'll be able to open the engine just like we would on an installed version. While the code compiles, let's talk a bit about why you might want to build from source instead of just installing through the Epic Games Store. There's really three reasons. If you don't fall into one of these buckets, you're probably better off just installing the engine. Reason one, you want to customize the engine for your project. Many games do this, but be aware that you're potentially signing up for a significant maintenance burden if you want to keep taking updates from Epic anyways. Be thoughtful about what changes you make to the engine and minimize the surface area of your modifications. Reason two, you want to tinker with bleeding edge features from Epic that have not yet made it into an official release. If so, you probably want to poke around in UE5 main or in another pre-release branch, but be aware that prior to official release, you'll likely run into defects that won't be present later, or you might hit potential API breaking changes. Reason three, you want to fix a bug and contribute back to the community. Epic has a process for community submissions via pull requests. Thank you for making the engine better for all of us. Now that the editor is compiled, we can start the launcher and create a new project just like normal. We can also repoint an existing project to use our locally compiled version of the engine by right clicking on the U project file, saying switch to Unreal Engine version and pointing it at our source build. Note that this will require rebuilding the project against our forked version of the engine. That's all you need to know to build UE5 from sources. If you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe for more Unreal Engine content. And I'd very much appreciate if you could hit the like button to help the channel grow. Until next time, be kind to one another.